हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस कार्ल पियर्सन मेथड टू फाइंड आउट कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन सो लेट अस फर्स्ट सी व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन यूजिंग दिस मेथड कार्ल पियर्सन कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ कोरिलेशन इज यूजुअली डिनोटेड बाय स्मॉल लेटर आर एंड इज गिवन बाय फॉर्मूला कोवेरियंस ऑफ x, y अपॉन सिग्मा x इनटू सिग्मा y as discussed in my earlier video covariance of x comma y is given by 1 by n into summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar where n denotes the number of data values x bar and y bar denotes respectively average of values of x and values of y sigma x denotes the standard deviation of values of x and is given by root of summation x minus x bar whole square upon n similarly sigma y denotes standard deviation of values of y and is given by square root of summation y minus y bar whole square whole divided by n when we substitute these formulas into here we get r is equal to summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar whole divided by under root of summation x minus x bar square into summation y minus y bar square i hope you understood this formula you have to remember this next we are going to see examples of finding correlation coefficient using carl pearson's method i suggest you guys to keep your calculators handy because we are going to do lot of calculations in these examples so let us proceed for our first example here we are asked to calculate carl pearson's coefficient of correlation from the following data look at the following data there are two data values are given to us x and y when x is 23 y is 18 when x is 27 y is 22 and so on the last value given are when x is 39 y is 32 now let us first count the number of values of each data set 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 values of each data set are given so in this example n is equal to 10 so let us first note down these observations so here n is equal to 10 now using this 10 we can now easily find out average of x and y so average or mean of x denoted by x bar is nothing but summation of x upon n summation of x means sum of all the values of x that means 23 plus 27 plus 28 and so on up to 39 whole divided by n that is whole divided by 10 so we see x bar here is 311 upon 10 that is 31.1 similarly you can calculate y bar y bar is denoted by summation y upon n and we found that it is equal to 25.7 now for further calculations we are going to use a calculation table on my next slide let us recall here x bar is 31.1 and y bar is 25.7 the formula for coefficient of correlation is given by this so here first we have to calculate what is summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar then we have to calculate summation x minus x bar square and summation y minus y bar square so to calculate all these values i am suggesting you to prepare this following calculation table in this way so look at the column headings first first heading is serial number then we have table of x values then we have y values next we are calculating what is x minus x bar here i am labeling it as capital a next we are calculating what is y minus y bar i am labeling it as b then in my next column we are calculating what is a into b a into b means x minus x bar into y minus y bar which is there in the numerator next we are calculating a square a square means x minus x bar square that is this term next we are calculating b square b square is y minus y bar square which is here now let us substitute the values for x and y in second and third column then we will calculate values of the other columns from these two values x minus x bar means 
23 minus 31.1 i found it is minus 8.1 similarly you can find out the next value it will be 27 minus x bar x bar is 31.1 we found it is minus 4.1 similarly you can calculate further values now we have to calculate y minus y bar here are the y values and this is your y bar so 18 minus 25.7 we found it is to be minus 7.7 next 22 minus 25.7 is minus 3.7 similarly you can calculate further values next we have to take product of values of a and b so here we have to take product of 8.1 and 7.7 .7 minus into minus is plus so 8.1 into 7.7 .7 is 62.37 similarly 4.1 into 3.7 is 15.17 similarly you can calculate further values see that calculator is playing an important role in these calculations you cannot orally calculate all these values next we calculate a square so here a square will be minus 8.1 square that means 65.61 similarly minus 4.1 square will be 16.81 and so on similarly you can calculate b square values here are the b values you simply have to take their squares and write it over here and at the bottom you have to find summation of all these columns so look at here summation of a into b that means summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar we found it is equal to 178.3 summation of x minus x bar square that means summation of a square we found it is to be 202.9 similarly summation y minus y bar square we found it to be 158.1 now let us carry forward these results so we found summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar is 178.3 summation x minus x bar square is 62.41 and summation y minus y bar whole square is 158.1 let us substitute these values into the formula of carl pearson's coefficient of correlation which is this one so after substitution we get r is equal to 178.3 upon square root of 62.41 into 158.1 once again use your calculator to find out the value of this expression so I found it is to be R is equal to 0 0.9955. Clearly, this value is very much close to 1. Therefore, the given data are positively correlated. Now, let us go ahead for next example. Once again, we are asked to find Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation from the given data. Let us count the number of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once again, here small n is 10. Next, we will calculate x bar, that is mean of values of x, whose formula is summation x upon n. So here we found summation x is 360 upon n, that means upon 10 is equal to 36. Similarly, we found y bar is equal to 31. Now, for further calculations, we are going to use calculation table. Recall that x bar is 36, y bar is 31 and formula for coefficient of correlation is this. Now let us prepare the calculation table in this way. In this second column we will write the values of variable x. In third column we will write values of variable y. Next we will calculate x minus x bar. So here x is 28, 28 minus x bar that is 36 will be equal to minus 8. 45 minus 36 is 9, 40 minus 36 is 4 and so on. In next column we will calculate what is y minus y bar. y is 23, y bar is 31, so y minus y bar is minus 8. 34 minus 31 is 3, 33 minus 31 is 2 and so on. Next we will calculate x minus x bar into y minus y bar that is a into b. So minus 8 into minus 8 is 64. 9 into 3 is 27, 4 into 2 is 8, and so on. Next, we will calculate x minus x bar square. So, here we see x minus x bar square is minus 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81, 4 square is 16, 2 square is 4, and so on. 
similarly you can calculate v square that is y minus y bar square to which we found to be minus 8 square is 64 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 and so on finally in the last row we find some of the last three columns so we see summation a into b is 97 summation a square is 216 summation b square is 162 let us carry forward all this data now we substitute these values in the formula of coefficient of correlation which is this so numerator will become 97 and in denominator we will have under root of 216 into 162 when we calculate this we found r is equal to 0 0.5185 this time also we see that r is positive so these two given datas are positively correlated i hope guys you understood how to use carl pearson's coefficient of correlation method to find out correlation coefficient between two data sets in my next video we will see pearson's rank correlation method to find out correlation coefficient between two data sets till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos